Good morning, everyone. It's Bernadette Wagner with Prime Time for Women's Mindful Monday. I am uh, wishing you a happy Monday. And I just wanted to take a little bit of time today to talk about um, The Art of Gathering. It's a book written by Priya Parker, and it's been really um, helpful and meaningful to me uh, recently as I'm trying to figure out ways to uh, gather um, virtually. So uh, lately my mantra has been virtue, uh, virtual is a virtue, um, and trying to really experience uh, the connection that is possible through new technologies, especially when it's difficult to gather during a pandemic. Um, I wasn't really sure it was possible to feel that sense of connection. But recently, I went to a memorial service uh, online, a virtual memorial service. And I was surprised how, uh, because of the structure of this event, uh, it was so meaningful and um, engaging and um, intimate in a way that I didn't expect and didn't know was possible. But then um, I listened to a podcast by um, uh, Renee Brown, her podcast, Unlocking Us, in which she interviewed Priya Parker. Priya Parker is a master facilitator. She's involved in the field of conflict resolution. And in her book, she explores questions of why we gather and how we gather and how those gatherings can build a sense of connection and um, uh, create change, meaningful change in the lives of the people who participate. So that's all a little bit of a backstory. But what I wanted to tell you was that um, because of the pandemic, this will be the first time that my uh, five children and their spouses and partners and um, grandchildren won't be gathering um, at Christmas this year. And so I sent a link to the podcast to all of my kids and their spouses and partners and asked them to lis listen to the podcast. And then we had a Zoom meeting yesterday to discuss ways that we can celebrate Christmas together apart and how we can do this uh, virtually with a real sense of meaning and connection and intimacy. So, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go, but I love just the idea of being able to talk with my kids about, um, about this. And uh, my husband and I and all of the kids participated. And what we came up with was, uh, in keeping with the recommendations in Priya Parker's book, was to set a purpose and why, and ask ourselves why we're gathering. For our family, we're gathering not only to be present together uh, at that time, but also to remember past um, holidays where we had developed traditions and maybe to revisit those traditions in a new way since we're in new conditions. Uh, so uh, we pose lots of different ideas and um, I'm excited because it'll be interesting to see exactly how this turns out. But for right now, some of the things that we're considering doing is um, we're going to revisit um, some of our memories and some of our family traditions in um, a novel way. So when my kids were little, uh, they all made these little paper plate angels, uh, which we put up every Christmas as goofy as they are. And here's my son, Matt. I don't know if you can see that, but that little angel has a black eye and we call that the black eyed angel and here's my other daughter beth and um her angel uh and these angels all sit on a little side table uh you know my kids are uh into their 30s and late 20s so it's funny that we still have all these little paper plate angels but what we decided was that we would create an an, an, an angel uh with uh, who we are right now. Uh, that was one of the suggestions. The other was to create an ornament because my kids over the years all made tons of different ornaments. And so, uh, and we would share them virtually. One of my kids suggested that we also, um, they're quite, uh, uh, 
funny and they enjoy um, wordplay a lot. So uh, we're going to write Christmas uh, limericks and um, they will share those um, on Christmas day when we get together. One of the things we did discuss is that we have this wide range of age because we have little grandkids and we have you know, old grandparents. <laughs> um, and so not everybody's comfortable being in front of Zoom for a long time. So the grandkids will have a chance to share their favorite Christmas present and their excitement and memory first. And then uh, the adults will have a chance to share uh, memory and limit, limerick and their ornament or their angel, whatever they make. And then later, uh, we're thinking on Christmas night after we, all the little ones are in bed, we'll gather a second time, uh, share a glass of wine, toast the holiday, uh, toast our uh, family connection and love for each other, and maybe play a game. And so uh, over, over Zoom, um, one of my uh, daughter's boyfriends is uh, quite knowledgeable about different games, and he's a very good game master, so I think we're going to make him in charge of that. But anyhow, the idea is that we are not naive. We know that it's not the same thing as gathering together. But maybe, just maybe, because we're not uh, gathering together, it will increase the currency of gathering next year when we get to be together. Um, we will appreciate it more. And just maybe, maybe because we can't gather, we're doing it differently. So we're being more intentional. We are really setting a purpose of honoring each other and enjoying each other's company, sharing those memories from the past and how uh, they can be connected with where we are in the present. So anyhow, I just wanted to share those uh, ideas with you. I will share uh, a link to um, Brené Brown's podcast, Unlocking Us, in which she interviews Brené, um, Priya Parker. And um, if you uh, get a chance, please be sure to share below your, what your family's doing and how you're gathering um, virtually this year. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Happy Mindful Monday.